Hi, my name is Sam, my pronouns are they, them, and welcome back to my office. I am 54 pages into Dear Synthurian by Okweke Meze. I'm loving it. I'm absolutely loving it. And I knew that I would because Okweke because Meze is one of my all-time favorite authors. They inspire me so much and they also always bring me a little bit farther outside of my original comfort zone so I always feel like I'm gaining a new perspective when I read their writing um and that's definitely the same like that is absolutely happening here but I also always forget that I really connect with them on a really emotional level because they are what we as a western country call trans, they're non-binary, they use they them pronouns, um, and in the beginning of this they talk about their breast reduction and their hysterectomy, and it was so nice, like almost, I almost started crying just to get to walk through that experience with them and see that there's someone else like me. It's hard, it's hard because I don't want to discredit anyone's identity as a trans person, as a non-binary person, but I feel like a lot of the non-binary people that I see aren't people who have any interest in a medical transition, or they are interested in a medical transition that requires hormones. And there's nothing wrong with that in any capacity, but that's not me. I very, very specifically I have the same sentiments that Okwege Amezi has. I have the same issues with my dysphoria and my body that they have. And it it just feels really wonderful to have someone. It feels like I have them like sitting there with me and we're just kind of existing together. And that's something that's so nice in a world that just doesn't understand, doesn't understand the blatant disgust you feel when you have a uterus sometimes, and it's like the entire concept of the uterus, and the concept of your, of your body, and the physicality of the body is not always the problem, but what the body can do, what certain parts of your body were biologically created to do, is the problem. Of course there are so many experiences that Okweke Meze goes through and talks about that I will never understand, I can never understand. They are black, they are from Nigeria, they are incredible and I will never fully understand those experiences despite loving reading about them. But it's also just nice to not feel so alone in my gender identity sometimes. It's a really, really nice thing. Gender is so spread out and so different for everyone that sometimes it makes it hard to connect with anyone over your gender identity. So it's, it's a good experience. So I'm gonna go have a snack now and then I'm just gonna keep reading. Okay, hello. Um, I have not gotten too much farther in Dear Synthurian by Quake Meza yet. I I've been feeling a little funky this weekend. Um, I took a COVID test. I don't have COVID, but I was like, let me just, let me just make sure before I go out. So I'm going to go to the gym. I'm going to walk on the treadmill for a little while and read Dear Synthurian, and hopefully that will help clear up some of the brain fog before I go get some Greek yogurt and some dinner. So yeah, let's go. So I just finished my 
work out, which is literally just walking on a treadmill and reading on an incline. Um, and then I also just ran over to the grocery store because it's like right next door. And I picked up some, a big ass half of vanilla Greek yogurt, um, two protein shakes, and some white cheddar popcorners. Um, white cheddar popcorners, Greek yogurt, coffee, protein shakes are pretty much the only thing that I eat lately. Um, and that's on autism and food issues, but that's fine. Um, so I picked up more of that. I got to page 126 of Dear Synthurian by Vivek Oji. So I read another like 40 pages or so. Um, and I mean, I don't feel like there's much, I don't feel like I can give much commentary on this because this is a memoir for them. So I don't really feel the need to con like comment on the content of it. I do feel the need to comment on the writing of it because as always, it's stunning. I really, you guys really picked like, you really helped me pick like the best TBR for this because like the Trans Rights Readathon, everything so far has been like five stars. My lowest one was a four star in a genre that I normally give like two stars to. So y'all really gave some fantastic suggestions <laughs> for this reading readathon. Um, but yeah, it's just stunning. It's stunning as always. Um, it just has everything that I could ever want in the beauty of the language and the format of it. It's formatted as like letters to people like about certain subjects and it's it's just beautiful. I love getting to read about how they became the person that they are to get today because I think it's such a fascinating thing. So yeah, I'm gonna run over to KFC and pick up just a small little container of mac and cheese and then I'm gonna head home and do some more reading. Okay, hello, good morning. Um, let's continue on our trend of Sam doesn't check in at the end of the night because sleepy. Um, it's fine, everything's fine. So I didn't get very much more of Dear Synthurian by Quake and Mezzi done last night because um, I was sleepy and because I watched like three episodes of Say Yes to the Dress, um, which is a hardcore guilty pleasure. So it's fine. Everything's fine. But what I did get done of it, I'm still loving it. I have like 70 more pages to go um, and I'm hoping to get that done at work today. So yeah, um, I'm gonna wrap up this vlog and then tomorrow, well today for me, tomorrow for everyone else, um, I will go ahead and toss up a wrap up for the Trans Rights Readathon. So yeah, I guess I will see everyone tomorrow. I hope that this has been fantastic for everyone. Um, and I hope that everyone has enjoyed getting to be a part of my chaos daily for seven days. So yeah, I'll see everyone tomorrow. Bye.